So there's multiple layers of stupidity to this story that we're about to talk about. So I will try to make it as comprehensible as possible to people who aren't on Twitter and or terminally online like myself. So it starts with self-proclaimed theocratic fascist Matt Walsh reacting to last week's Nashville mass shooting carried out by a trans suspect by using that opportunity to claim all trans people are evil, saying, quote, I came to the conclusion years ago that the trans movement is the greatest evil our country faces. I only become more and more sure of this fact with each passing day and more and more determined to oppose it until my last breath. Now, in response to that, a user named Zaza Smoka wrote, You are a hateful little freak, and I can't wait until you piss off a trans person that actually is as unhinged as you claim to say they all are. And they add, can't be a bigot if you're no longer breathing. Okay, so now the right is claiming that AOC is the one who actually wished death on Matt Walsh because that account is actually AOC's burner account, according to them. And because of that claim, well, that response to Matt Walsh went viral with a lot of right-wingers thinking that she actually said this to Matt Walsh. For example, Miles Ian Chong tweeted, what did Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez mean by this? Matt Walsh also called her out saying, hi, AOC. This isn't you wishing death on me, is it? Many are speculating that this is your burner account. You need to come out and denounce this kind of rhetoric, or we can only assume that you support it. And even sitting Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene floated this claim, saying, This you, AOC? Zaza Demon is your burner account? That is a disturbing name. Excited to see an unhinged trans murder a member of the conservative press, Matt Walsh? Yes, that is demonic, so the name fits. Now, you may be wondering why they're all so fucking confident that this is definitely AOC's burner account. Well, it's because of a now viral tweet from leftist turned right wing propagandist Nico House. And if that name sounds familiar, it's probably because you remember him as the guy who made a fool of himself back in 2020 simping so hard for Tulsi Gabbard that he became a meme and the laughing stock of the entire internet for like a year. Now, after Tulsi's campaign was over, since leftists no longer took him seriously, he predictably started grifting towards the right almost immediately, just like his mommy Tulsi. And now the quintessential Tulsi himself here claims that he has definitive proof that Zaza Smoka on Twitter is AOC's burner account. And that's because um, of this. Here's his now viral claim. AOC has burned accounts. I think he means burner accounts. I responded to one of her posts reminding her that she sends money to Nazis and some random account responded to me speaking in first person as if I attacked them. Then that same person deleted the tweets. All right, so let's check it out. He responded to AOC saying, but you vote to send money to Nazis and to fund Israeli apartheid. But hey, at least she stood up to a TikTok star. Zaza Smoker responded to that saying, LOL, and what makes you think that I did anything to support Nazis? You're delusional. Seek help. So there you have it. AOC responded to Nico House in the first person while not realizing that she was still logged into her burner account. Got her. He's got her dead to rights, right? Mm, not so much, because as people quickly pointed out, when Nico originally responded to AOC, he tagged both AOC and Zaza Smoka, who also responded to AOC, meaning that Zaza Smoka got a notification after Nico House responded to them and seemingly thought that Nico House was directing his Nazi accusation to them, hence the confusion in Zaza's reply. And as Ravana put it, this bozo replied to an account that retweeted AOC and didn't untag that account before he did it, which I think is a lot more believable than AOC having an alt named Zaza Smoka with an anime avatar. <laughs> <laughs> but hang on a second. If Zaza Smoka is not AOC, then why delete the response to Nico House? Well, it's because if you mistakenly thought that somebody was responding to you and you respond back to them, realizing that you weren't the one he was referencing, you delete it. I've done it. Most people on Twitter have done this. So it's not that suspicious. And it's just a little bit ironic of Nico House, of all people, to call somebody else 
a Nazi defender or supporter of Nazis, considering he's friends with a very popular white nationalist. Now, the claim that Zaza Smoka is AOC's burner account gets even more dumb, given that, as the service points out, the account liked not safe for work posts on Twitter, including risque photographs of other women. So if we're going to assume that this is AOC's burner account, we have to assume that she didn't just create it to respond to shit posters on Twitter, but she created it also to presumably, I guess, inconsistent conspicuously like thirst traps of other women <laughs> i mean i guess it's not impossible right but you also have to assume that she's either a closeted lesbian or at least bisexual at a minimum if this is indeed her account and listen i want to be very clear here i wish this were true i think that aoc using a burner account to covertly wish death on matt walsh is objectively hilarious so i want it to be true as we all do but i'm just saying that there's not enough evidence to support that claim. But regardless, that was apparently enough evidence for right-wingers, and even a sitting member of Congress, Marjorie Taylor Greene, decided to promote this claim. Now, this shouldn't be too surprising that they're running with this, given that Marjorie's proof that all Democrats are pedophiles is their support of bottom surgeries for trans kids, which is something that she claimed was happening with zero evidence in an interview with Leslie Stahl of 60 Minutes. So their standard for evidence... It's obviously not very high, but nonetheless, I mean, why not run with this? Why let evidence or a lack thereof get in the way of a good narrative, right? But regardless, the right will continue to push this false narrative because that's just kind of what they do. So with that being said, it's incumbent on all of us normal people who base our worldviews on empirical reality to push back and debunk false claims wherever we see them. And this is one of those instances where... We need to push back and stop this from spreading like wildfire, even though it may be a little bit too late. And I've got to say that it's a little bit worrying that so many people took this claim and ran with it because we're entering this new era where AI is getting increasingly convincing and deep fakes are looking a lot like reality. So if people already don't really have that high of a standard for evidence, how bad is it going to get when we enter this era where it's going to be even more difficult to disprove things? So this is why we all need to just hope that people are a little bit more rigorous in things that they're willing to accept. Because, I mean, if we're just willing to assume that anyone has a burner account because they respond to a reply in the first person, then that's bad for all of us on Twitter because what's stopping somebody else from just creating an account and going under a public figure responding to the reply in the first person and getting other people to think that that's them. I mean, do we really want this? This isn't good for Nico House. This isn't good for Miles Ian Chong or Matt Walsh or Marjorie Taylor Greene or myself. It's not good for any of us. So the best thing that we can all do is just ask for a higher standard of evidence before falling for something hook, line, and sinker. That being said, though, I agree that it would be hilarious if this was indeed AOC, but unfortunately... I'm not buying it. This isn't the Matt Bender libtardo one moment that they were hoping for. But I understand why they would want this to be true, because that is, in fact, very incriminating and simultaneously hilarious. But you just need more evidence to push this claim. Sorry. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. 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 Wolf. Moralists. Wolf. Moralists. Wolf. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.